When it comes to luxury watches, two major highly reputable brands seem to have figured out all there is to know about it. These brands have consistently released luxurious watches that have raised the bar higher and higher each time. Each model watch that comes from these two brands meets a specific need and brings a unique addition that the watchmaking world didn't even know that they were missing. These brands have a rich history that makes them even better at their craft, making luxurious high-end watches. So, which of these is the better watch brand? Richard Mill or Patek Philippe? When it comes to comparing Richard Mill and Patek Philippe, watch enthusiasts who are worth their salt know what a difficult and almost impossible task it is. Richard Mill is well known for its unique features and specifications, and Patek Philippe is also becoming increasingly popular among watch enthusiasts, as it deserves. Both brands are highly unique, and individually, they bring something new and unique to the watchmaking world. In their ideology and every other way that matters, Richard Mill and Patek Philippe couldn't be more different. Regardless of their differences, they have one thing in common. They are both excellent providers of top-class quality watches. Richard Mill is vastly different from Patek Philippe in terms of history because the former is barely 20 years old as a company, while the latter has a rich history that goes back centuries. And there is no way that a brand set up in the 19th century and one set up in the 21st century will have similar ideologies. However, in their difference, there are watch enthusiasts who believe their polarizing views make them the perfect complement for each other. That is probably the reason why so many Patek Philippe lovers have a soft spot for Richard Mill watches too. Richard Mill is considered to be a younger, opposite version of Patek Philippe. While the watches are as different as they can be, they're also quite similar in certain aspects. One of the most significant similarities is how much of a statement watch they both are. Donning either watch immediately sends out a message to anyone who cares to listen. A glance at the watch lets all and sundry know that the wearer has incredible spending power. A billionaire's handshake can be easily defined as two people donning either a Richard Mill or a Patek Philippe watch. <laughs> Both brands are created to cater to the needs of the elites, and so they can both be found on the wrists of the ultra-rich. Richard Mill earned its reputation through its incredible craftsmanship and hefty pricing. Getting brand ambassadors like Rafael Nadal, the tennis champion, and Philippe Massa, the former Formula One driver, certainly helped a great deal. On the other hand, Patek has over a hundred years to carefully cultivate and embody their role as royalty and class. To maintain their current status, Patek Philippe also collaborates with several well-known figures like Brad Pitt. Anyone you see who dons an RM or Patek Philippe timepiece is subtly sending a message, I belong to the wealthy circle. Richard Mill releases less than 5,000 wristwatches every year. While that figure is a little on the high side for a new brand, the usual rules of engagement are exempt for Richard Mill. This is because it enjoys a great level of popularity and demand and there is a constant need to produce more. Very few model watches from the RM brand are produced in little quantity. The huge demand placed on the watchmakers ensure that they produce several quantities of watches. One model with very few productions is the RM52 Torbillion Skull. With only six pieces produced in 18K pink, gold, and white ceramic, this timepiece is incredibly rare. Its counterpart, Patek, on the other hand, produces about 20,000 watches every year. Since the brand opened its doors in 1839, it has produced an estimated total of about 1 million wristwatches. In comparison, it might seem like Patek is producing more watches than Richard Mill, but let's put this into perspective. The entire production figure of Patek Philippe since the year it opened its shop is the annual production figure of other Swiss watchmaking companies in a year. Rolex is a great example, as that a company produces over a million timepieces a year. Patek Philippe watchmakers like to put in considerable time and effort while making their watches. The devil, they say, is in the details, and Patek watchmakers put in considerable efforts into getting the details of every single watch just right. Sometimes it can take as much as nine months to get a Patek Philippe watch to the finish line. A complex watch can take as long as two years in the production chamber. Just like Richard Mill, there are only a few models of Patek Philippe watches that are made in small quantities. An example of such model is the 1941 reference 1518 timepiece made from stainless steel that has only four pieces in existence. In 2016, one of those pieces went for 6.8 million euros in the market.
When it comes to production numbers, Rich and Mill and Patek Philippe agree on one thing. Neither of them produces their watches in sizable larger quantities. It turns out that those are the watches that are often in high demand. With the small production number, the Richard Mill brand can build each timepiece with high-tech quality materials. The base plate and cases used in creating a Richard Mill watch can only be found in racing yachts or F1 cars. Not only are they the best kind of materials when it comes to creating high-quality timepieces, but they're also state-of-the-art materials used in other areas of the high-tech world. Richard Mill makes use of materials that cannot be found anywhere else in the watchmaking world. Its innovative craftsmanship and high-quality materials make it one of the best watchmaking brands in such a short amount of time. Patek Philippe watches take a great deal of time because their concept and design of each watch are intricately unique. For a watch that spends about five years in production, you can be sure it is as spectacular as they come. After spending five years in the production shop, putting together the pieces can take as long as a year as well. Every single aspect of a Patek Philippe watch is made with hand finishes. That singular act has set them apart from every other brand in the watchmaking world for several years. Everything else from the engraving to the enamel paintings and any other decoration are simply products of handicrafts. The materials used in the production of a Patek Philippe are also very high-end materials. The watchmaking brand refines the existing materials and develops its intricate materials. They don't make use of a supply Flyers material, whether gold or steel. The result is a highly durable watch that lasts generations. The designs are also timeless, making them a lot easier to pass down from one generation to another. Richard Mill watches are nothing but the best perfection you can get from 21st century movements. The movements that appear in RM watches are not regular. They have coatings of materials representing modern and top quality watchmaking. To create such perfect and beautiful movements, the engineers at Richard Mill have spent years refining and mastering various mechanisms. A lot of the Richard Mill wristwatches feature GMT functions, annual calendars, split seconds chronographs, flyback chronographs, and so much more. Almost all Richard Mill watches feature Torbilly as well. The Torbillion is a rotating cage that adds a higher degree of refinement to the timepiece. Patek Philippe watches are a watch collector's delight. More than their high-quality materials and innovative craftsmanship, their complications and movements draw in collectors like a siren song. All of the Patek watches come with split-second chronographs, second time zones, and just about every other complication that exists in watchmaking. Of course, Patek Philippe watches are incredibly precise and highly reliable. The Grandmaster Chime, for instance, has 224 parts, 20 complications, and two dials. To make this watch, about 100,000 man-hours were clocked. Of that, about 60,000 hours were spent just on movement. Wow. Most RM watches begin at the retail price of about $80,000. The price can rise as high as several million dollars for the rarer and more exceptionally exotic models. For Patek Philippe, the starting retail price begins at about $20,000. The retail price can be as astronomically high as $24 million. Wow. In terms of retail value, a Richard Mill watch can hold its own quite easily. Forbes considers a Richard Mill watch to be one of the best investments in high-end watches. All that matters when it comes to reselling a Richard Mill watch is finding an appreciative buyer who understands the worth of what is on the table or on his wrist. Patek Philippe also holds a great resale value. Watches that have reached a vintage level or a particular age have even stronger retail value. The prices vary considerably with each watch and age. Regardless, Patek watches are also considered to be high-value investments. So, choosing a better watch between Richard Mill and Patek Philippe boils down to personal preference at the end of the day. Both watch brands are exceptionally good at what they do, and they both produce amazing watches. Although some may see RM watches as toys and not watchmaking masterpieces like Patek, Richard Mill certainly knows how to market their watches so they sell, which is what both of these brands aim to do. So, big question, which watch brand do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below.
Oh, and you can check out this video to find out 8 reasons why Patek Philippe watches are so valuable. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel by pressing the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Goodbye, Luxcats. Until next time.